Good day, Grade 10. Welcome to the first lesson in Week 9, and we're going to be looking at trigonometry. But before we can look at trigonometry, we actually need to look at similarity. Similarity of triangles. Now, you may have learned some of this in Grade 9, but if you haven't, um, or if you have and you've just forgotten, this is a very good recapping, and you need to understand things about similar triangles in order to do trigonometry, which is why I'm teaching it to you. So, two triangles are said to be similar when their corresponding angles are equal. In other words, if we've got two triangles and we are told that even though this triangle is much bigger than that triangle, if this angle equals this angle and that angle over here equals that angle over there, and this angle here will then obviously equal this angle here. Then those two triangles are similar. So in other words, what we say is that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, because we always do it in the same order. DEF, and the reason would be angle, angle, angle. Okay, so that is a statement, and the statement is that if two triangles are similar when their corresponding angles are equal. The next statement says, if two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional in length. So what that means is that if we've got two triangles and we're told they're similar, then we would be told the order. So in other words, let's say that that angle equals that one again, and A again is equal to D in size and B is equal to E. Right. Then what they're telling us is that if for example this length here is X and that oopsie and that length there is Y. Okay. And in this case let's pretend that that means that that is 2X. Okay. So this is double the length of that, right? Then if I told you that this was Z, that the length of FE was Z, then we would know the length of CB, because it's the same corresponding side to that, would be 2Z. And if we therefore had DE and we called that, I don't know, P, then this would be 2P. So what we're saying is that, and it doesn't have to be double, I'm just using double as an example. So we're saying that the corresponding sides are proportional in length. In other words, whatever the ratio is of FD to CA, that would be the same as the ratio of CB to FE. So I could actually write that down. I could say in a triangle ABC and triangle DEF, if I wrote the ratio of um, AC over FD, DF, it would be equal to the ratio of AB over DE. Okay, so that's all it's saying, and we're going to use things like this later, so don't, just to get you used to seeing it. So what we're saying is that they're proportional in length. Okay, right, now let's try a, another statement. So let's look at an example before we do anything else. Okay, we've got two triangles, okay, and if we had to look at these and prove that these are congruent, the way we would do it is we'd say in a triangle, D, F, E, and triangle, and you always have to go in the same order, so we're going 30, 60, 90, so now we're going to go 30, 60, 90 again, so it's going to be G, K, H, then we'd know that angle D, angle D, equals angle G, why? Because it's given, that is 30 degrees. Angle F in the left hand side triangle is equal to angle K also because it's given and we would therefore have angle 
E, we wouldn't really have to write the third one, but it's up because it's obvious. But let's write it anyway. Is equal to angle H. Again, given. Therefore, we can say that triangle DFE is similar. Three lines straight up is similar. Similar to triangle GKH and Y angle 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 and what does that mean that means that the ratio of this side whoopsie to that side has to equal let me just see where this thing is there it is different color has to equal a ratio of this side to this side or of the DE to the GH so that's similar triangles, very basic, very easy. So for a specific angle, the ratios of each specific triangle remain the same. So as the hypotenuse gets longer, so do the lengths of the other two. And everything increases or decreases in proportion. That is it, grade tens for similarity. That's how easy it is. So now we're going to use that and the knowledge that we've learned from this video in our trigonometry in the rest of the section. Have a good day. Thank <music> you.